I hope you're having the most magical September day. I can't believe I get to say that. The most magical September day it is. I mean, it's been here, but I'm just all excited that I get to keep saying that because fall is happening. It is so close. I can feel it. I can smell it, kind of. <laughs> Not really because you know, it's still summer and my allergies are always out of control. So I can't really smell anything so today We are decorating my bedroom for Halloween uh, We did a little summer ween decorating a little summer ween bedroom decorating if you saw that video which I think was back in was that July we decorated essentially our new mattress and then I did the nightstands and all that did my whole bedroom and that's kind of what we're gonna be doing today except different decorations which didn't go exactly according to plan which I'll get into here in a second uh, and tell you you know long story longer what kind of happened but before I get into that I wanted to mention the sponsor for today's video um, back in the summer ween video I mentioned that I got a new mattress uh, and mattress topper from Birch Living and this video is sponsored by Birch Living so thank you Birch Living for sponsoring this video so we're gonna be decorating our birch living mattress for actual halloween all right i'm gonna go take a little seat my arm is getting tired holding this camera hold on anyways i was talking about our new mattress from birch living how much we've been loving it if you haven't heard of birch living before birch is a premium mattress in a box company that makes organic non-toxic mattresses right here in america sourced straight from nature mattresses are made with organic latex New Zealand wool, American steel springs, and organic cotton. And I mentioned in my last, uh, the, my summer ween decorating video that I had no idea. I hadn't even thought of the fact that, that mattresses could be toxic and I'm just, I'm just, you know, sleeping on them every night. So I was so excited to try Birch Living because this is definitely something, uh, an organic and or natural mattress. As we were looking for a new mattress, this is exactly something I'm looking for, something that's organic and natural and non-toxic. Also, each Birch mattress comes with two of their EcoRest pillows, which are made from recycled plastic bottles. And we've had our Birch Living mattress now for about two months, and it has been amazing. It is so comfortable. Uh, we got the mattress topper and the mattress, and you can choose by by the way, what kind of mattress you like, whether it's firm or soft. We prefer soft mattress and uh, our mattress before was so hard. I kept thinking it was gonna break in, no big deal. Uh, you know, just over time, it'll, it'll kinda, you know, you can break it in a little bit. But no, it basically went from extremely firm to, to coils in your back. So this is truly, we got the mattress topper with our mattress and it is so comfortable. It's like sleeping on a cloud. If you're like me and you get a little bit nervous to buy something you haven't tried yet, especially a mattress. Everyone has a different mattress preference. Birch Living gives you a hundred night free trial plus a 10 year warranty. And if you don't love it, Birch Living will give you a full refund and come and get your mattress. So you don't even have to haul it or do anything like that. And on top of that, the mattress is delivered straight to your door. So you don't have to load it on a truck or have people in your house and all that kind of stuff. You don't have to do any of that. It's a super easy process. We got ours, ours was delivered straight to our door. We brought it in, you unbox it, just uh, take off the, the cover, it's all rolled up. So you take off the cover and it just fully unravels and kind of inflates. It's such a cool, fun process. And now we have this super comfortable mattress and we love it so, so much. I cannot say enough good things about it. I sleep like a baby every single night. So anyways, if you're wanting to try out Birch and or you're looking for a new mattress and or mattress topper, definitely check out Birch. You can click the link down in my description box or you can go to birchliving.com slash Jade the Libra. $400 off your Birch mattress plus two free pillows. Definitely check it out if you've been looking for a new mattress or you're curious about birch living all right so we're gonna start decorating for halloween but first i wanted to get into my long story longer i know this is the longest intro of all time but you know how we do things around here anyways long story longer longest story of all time I wanted to do a Beetlejuice theme in here. I was, I was gonna move my Beetlejuice theme. I found this duvet cover that just screamed Beetlejuice to me. You'll see it, it screams Beetlejuice. It just does. This black and white thing reminds me of a sandworm, but also just Beetlejuice in general, you know, a suit. So I had this whole idea in my head, but um, I have some things coming that are Beetlejuice related that I haven't received yet. And um, I just, okay, we did a jack-o'-lantern theme last year on my mantle in my living room. And uh, I'm not doing that in my living room this year. I'm going for something darker. I really want to do a jack-o'-lantern theme in here now. So I'm so excited to show you. I decided also I was just gonna put on my Halloween pajamas. I've got my Mr. Skeleton pajamas on uh, and we're gonna decorate 
for Halloween in here. Hope you're ready, excited, let's go. Let's decorate for Halloween. I'm so excited. All right, let's put these sheets on. To probably wait until the mattress pad is done, but I at least, I don't know, I get impatient. I wanna see what it looks like. I also have some lime green ones that I bought because I was gonna do Beetlejuice. I bought these as backup and I'm glad I did because I decided to go to something totally different last minute. Um, because I didn't really have enough Beetlejuice stuff. So I'm hoping this works out um, and looks good. We're gonna put this on. These sheets are really nice and soft. And I'll link these in the description as well in case you're looking for some Halloween orange sheets. I've been uh, accidentally dyeing my pillowcases orange because <laughs> my hair is all orange. I really am nervous about this comforter cover though. I don't think I like it. Slightly nervous. I feel like it would definitely work for a Beetlejuice room. I definitely want to keep the orange sheets though because I don't really have another option. I couldn't really find any Halloween sheets this year for a king that looked good quality. So, I mean, all the ones at Home Goods all sold out in like 2.5 seconds. So, you know, I wasn't gonna find those. And I, and I wasn't really feeling like the Snoopy vibe or anything. Like, I'm not really feeling like I didn't really want a Halloween peanuts theme. That doesn't really get me going. Doesn't make the magic happen in here. <laughs> we're gonna get the comforter on and we're gonna put the comforter cover on and I'm nervous. Comforter on here. Do no, I really need to put this thing on? Hold on one second, Eames. She's begging to get on the bed. I uh, hope you like these types of videos where we hang out and decorate together. I don't know that I'm gonna do every decorating video like this, uh, especially some of the longer ones or the ones that take me a little bit, you know, just longer to actually decorate. I'll probably do a voiceover just because I never know what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna cut out because. Sometimes, especially like with my mantle, I move things around a lot. So what is happening here? <sighs> this is such a perfect Beetlejuice moment. But you know what? I feel like we can make it work for Halloween. And if we can't, then we'll find something else. Oh, I actually really, okay, wait. I kind of changed my mind. Uh, now that I'm seeing it kind of straightened out, I think I like this. My bad. I do this all the time. I'm like, I don't think I like that. And I'm like, wait a minute, I think I like it. By the way, these are my favorite Halloween pajamas. They're from this brand. They're at Kohl's this year. They were at Kohl's last year too. But they also usually have them at Target, but I haven't seen them this year quite yet. They're called Goodnight Monkey Monkey or something. These are so soft and they have the cutest little Halloween prints on them. Look at this. One has little Mr. Skeletons, Mr. Skeletons all over it. I'm gonna zip this up. This looks way better than I thought it would. I was worried. This is actually not that bad. Like it has a flap. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna sneeze over the zipper and everything i'll show you it has the zipper but then it has kind of the flap or i don't know what you want to call this that covers the zipper can't really tell that the zipper's there are you guys hypnotized yet by the comforter uh this whole thing down like so and then pull the sheet down means you're next you're gonna get on the bed next don't you fret. And then we're gonna get Neems' bed. Well, first I gotta get her blankies. Underneath here. Uh, do we not have any spooky blankies for this? I think we do. Jeez Louise, my allergies are so bad. What's going on? Put her bed into the bed it's like right in the center of our heads because that's where she demands to be it's not right sis all right got a blankie on got this jack skellington blanket one of her favorites it's 
It's one of the soft ones. Come on. Ready? Good job. All right. Did you find your spot? I know there's no other pillows on. I know you're mad. Change is hard. I know. We're going to make the bed though. You're so cute. I might mix this, like do some orange and then some of the Halloween, uh, some of the Halloween pillows. Here, I have one right here. It's been on our bed. Uh, from the last video we did, the Summerween bedroom decorate with me. Uh, this is the print, so I think I'm gonna mix the two. Maybe I should have gotten some smaller pillowcases, but I think these are the ones that came with it. Here's this. I know, Nan, do you like your Halloween bed? Do you need another blankie? Are you good? You digging? Does anyone else have animals who just dig their beds up like Means does? What you doing, little Means? I don't know what we're gonna do for add these or we can bring in the nevermore pillows that we used before and kind of mix them what are oh i kind of like that mix we could almost put these in another pillow hold on let's try this she's about to get really really mad she's not like it when i put pillows on the bed but we're trying to make Halloween happen, sis. Oh, by the way, I always call mean sis because uh, Dallas's mom actually got me started on that. She calls all of her little dog sis. She was calling mean sis. And I don't know, got me and I just started calling her sis. I think this is meant for like a really flat, long pillow, but we're gonna make it work because, sorry mean, sorry means. It just needs to look Looks a little full. Lots of sap. If you know that quote, then you know. <laughs> you see your ears? What you doing? What you doing? I'll link these if I can find them. These uh, Nevermore pillows. It came with a whole quilt set um, that we used during Summerween. And last year for Halloween, if you're a spooky family member, you saw this last year. Um, and then these ones, like all of everything linked in the description. Um, where's my, I need to find some pillows. We're wanting to go with the jack-o'-lantern theme, so I'm thinking for pillows, these, I'm thinking these guys, let me, let me look. For once, I'm gonna make some people really happy because in my last video, I uh, <laughs> did not cut off the tags, by the way, I'm using eyebrow scissors because I can't find my scissors. Um, that's probably why I didn't cut them off before. I can never find my scissors. It's pretty much story of my life. Should just probably buy some more, but that would be way too easy. Let's go here. All right. Oh, what do you think you're doing? Okay, I'll set up a little bed next to me. You just, I, cannot, I don't trust you not to tinkle somewhere, so get in your bed. Yeah? Okay. Yep, that's a good spot. Right there. That's a good spot. Okay. Mom's got to take off this tag 2.0 while Nene's digs in her new bed. Come on, get in. Get in there. Good job. You're such a good girl. Oh, my baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. Scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. You're such a good girl. What a good girl. I know you just want to cuddle. I know. Covers? There you go. That's a good spot. Okay. Here you go. These are actually the perfect scissors for this because they're really small so I can get pretty up close and personal without uh, damaging the pillow. So that really good. I don't know what we're using yet, but we're gonna start there. Then we're thinking about this guy. We're gonna take this off. We're taking all the tags off today, sis. Maybe like that. Or I thought about this little ghosty pillow. You like that one? 
Oh, you think I'm getting in bed? Because this is my side. Let's try this ghosty pillow. And maybe we'll put this guy here. Uh -huh. This? Thoughts? What do you think? Maybe I was gonna do. I thought about doing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hear me out. Thought about doing this yellow pillow. I know it seems weird, but like candy corn, you know, vibe? Like a little pop of color, maybe? Let's see. Means you're trying to get back into your spot? Okay, I'll let you in. Come on. You wanna get back in? Here's a secret passageway. Come on. Come on. Get in your bed. There you go. Secret passageway. Good job. All right, she's good. She's in there now. <laughs> my dogs, when I say they're my life, I'm not joking. <laughs> my dogs are my life. I love it. It's the most rewarding thing I do is take care of my senior dogs. Oh, are we back out? Her head is poking out me. Oh, I know. I feel like it's taking away from the orange a little bit. But just some inspo if you're wanting some ideas. The yellow could be really cool. I can't remember where I got those. Target, I think? Or maybe I got these at Home Goods. Okay, here's this. I've got lots of prints going on, which I kind of like. Even though it's a lot, it kind of goes. Maybe. I don't know, maybe not. Or, you know what you could do? Do this. All right, or we could do this guy, this Ray Dunn pillow of all things in the front. This is so many throw pillows. It's taking up the whole bed. Or ghosty, happy Halloween in front. I think this is the winner. We're just gonna go for black, white, and orange and call it a day. All right, and this is the final look of the bed. So we're gonna move on to the nightstands and uh, some other decorative accents. So we're gonna do that. With the nightstand, I kind of wanted to add something spooky like this, like a creepy cloth. I get these from Dollar Tree every year. I just got some new ones this year too, because they just had them. But mine are also, my, my Dollar Trees are also really slow to get stuff out, but I figured I'd put this on, I don't know, maybe I need to kind of make it look creepier. Just kind of drape it different, like stretch it out. Kind of just folded it in half, but then spread it apart a little bit. And then that's that, but I don't really want it to block from opening the drawer. So something kind of like that. Right, so I got these lamps from Home Goods. This is gonna kind of be a home goods haul spoiler because there's a home goods haul coming up where you're gonna see these. And this is one of the reasons I didn't go with a Beetlejuice theme because I was like, this kind of screams, you know, traditional Halloween, but also I feel like the spider webs are gonna project really cool shapes onto the wall. So I haven't tried it yet, but we're hoping for the best. Yes. I don't know where, where we're positioning it yet, but that's kind of the idea. All right, so I'm not quite sure what I wanna do here. I want to mix different heights. That's what I like to do. So I like to do where I might put that here. I like these are about the same height, so that's not my favorite. So I'm going to add this little pedestal I got from at home a couple years ago. And this may be too tall. I'm not positive. But I don't know if this is going to annoy me that the oranges are different colors or if I'm going to like that. There's just a plain old jack o' lantern. And I can even do a little baby jack-o'-lantern here or here. There's not much room for phones now, so I gotta think about that. Let's see. Brought up a branchy tree for the back, possibly for height. I think that's not a good choice. The baby jack-o'-lantern might be too much. And like a lantern instead. Kind of wanted it to be a lot of jack-o'-lanterns, but I might have these be the same height, like that. Do you think that's too much though? Like too much space is taken up? Like we need room for phones and stuff. Hold on, let me try this. I just feel like this tree is just so random there. Maybe we can put a little, okay. 
I will say coming up the stairs and just walking in from afar, I do prefer this darker orange against the wall. Um, but we might be able to kind of break some of this up. I have this like, crow pedestal that I got from Michael's a while back. I just feel like that puts too many heads. I could put just a regular candle there. A black candle here. But then I feel like that blocks the tree. All right, let's try this. No, there's just something so weird about this tree. I mean, I don't hate the tree. I just feel like it's a little random. I don't know, I think I like it. I, I, these are very much the same height, but I feel like the branchy tree kind of breaks it up. All right, on this bottom shelf area, and don't worry, I don't know what's back there. Oh, that's the, the what do you call this, creepy cloth. Okay, don't worry, I'm gonna tuck in these, these guys, these cords whenever we get everything all put together. But I think I'm gonna do like this, this book, this Happy Halloween book, and maybe a jack-o'-lantern or maybe this. We can use this again. We used this last time. I'm really trying to do something different. We used this guy. This might be too big. No, it's not, but... So here's a smaller one. I kind of want something either way that will light up down here. So probably a jack-o'-lantern. I think like that, I think that one's gonna be the one. What do you think? Maybe something else next to it, like a little figurine. Cute. Thoughts, can you even see it? No, it's too high. It needs to be something low. I'm thinking it's gonna be something like this. It's gonna, but I just don't know if I like that orange. I think we're gonna stick with just a simple guy, but what I might do is we might add a little guy. So maybe that's what was missing. Just a cute little something, maybe. Possibly that guy, maybe this guy. This guy might be too tall. Cause he might match the other. Oh no, that's really good. I think I like that. No, what have I done? I'm not mad at it. Oh, I love it. Okay, moving on to the other one. By the way, this little guy here I got from Michaels. Uh, was it last year or a couple years ago? I can't remember. But this is one of my favorite pieces from Michaels from their vintage line. I didn't see these this year, but also my Michaels hadn't put out the vintage stuff yet. So I need to go check. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. I'm happy with this. I felt like there was something that was that needed to go here. I don't know. Some of you may disagree out there. That's cool with me. Let me know. What do you think? You like it? Jack-o'-lanterns, spider webs, a little bit of spooky stuff. All right, we're moving on to the other nightstand. We're going to my side. I know exactly what I'm doing to kind of go with this, but different. All right, we're gonna do the same thing. Kind of fold it over itself and then kind of split it. I just move it, kind of split it aside. Kind of drape it to where I can still open the nightstand. I'm gonna do something similar. So I'm gonna do the same lamp and the same jack-o'-lantern stack from Michaels, by the way, last year. So we're gonna keep things symmetrical looking. Um, but I'm going to throw in something a little bit different on my side. I was thinking we could do, instead of the clown guy, we could do little witch on my side. Like that. Is that how it went? I feel like this one is so much smaller than the other one, oddly. Or no, I know what it is. It's this freaking branchy tree is kind of deformed or something. I don't know. Perfect. Love it. Okay, I'm so excited about this. I was a little nervous about changing themes because I was so dead set on Beetlejuice, but now I'm so excited because I'm all into this whole Halloween thing. I'm feeling so good about it. Um, all right. I'm just gonna put some of these. Which one do I wanna do? These little twinkle lights. Um, I I have orange, all right, sorry, yellow and red. Sometimes I like to do red if this may not work on this one because it can look a little too red. Yeah, that's a little red. Um, but I either use red or yellow. And I kind of like this guy, I think. That's cute, okay. What are we gonna do for the bottom? This Halloween box. 
either this one this is halloween i kind of wanted to say halloween but this one says witch's handbook kind of like this one because it's orange so i might use that one um these ones these darker orange ones look better with a red light in them i feel like they just look a little bit more orange this one up here i'm fine having i don't know am i fine do i want this instead i don't know why am i like this no i like the lighter one here all right this is how my side looks a little witch instead of a pumpkin head clown person so i'm all excited about this all right so it's later in the night i took off my pillow so i could do one last thing i'm also gonna move neens off of her bed so she's safe but there's one more thing i wanted to do that i'm all, i have like a hammer on my bed um so there's this thing that i bought at target it's this jack-o-lantern guy it's it's really small first of all that's my first concern with it is that this is going to be way too small for this huge space up there i mean the whole wall is enormous so i i know this is a really small piece but in my mind okay this is what it looks like if you can see on the box it has these little slit things all around the sides so and it has a light inside so it's supposed to just like send out these rays pumpkin rays all over like this really cool pattern on the wall so my hope was even though this is really tiny that it will project a bigger like um the pattern will be larger on the wall so it will appear to be a larger piece is my hope and in my mind that's how it's gonna work but um, either way, I'm going to hang it up. If it doesn't look good, if it looks like it's teeny tiny on this huge wall, then we're not going to keep it up. But I was waiting until nighttime, which it's currently nighttime, to put this up so we could watch it and see it live in action. All right, I'm going to mess up this entire bed. And don't worry, I put fresh socks on so it wouldn't, you know, be all gross on my bed. All right, I got to figure out where the best place it is so tiny on this huge wall and i thought about putting like a wreath or a frame around it but honestly i'm afraid it's going to disrupt like the pattern on it okay should we turn let's turn off the lights hold on make the magic happen where's my hat what do i do with my hat i'll put on this one um yeah, it's tiny, right? Too tiny? Too small? I think it looks really cute, but is it just random, do you think? All right, I feel like that's the best we're gonna get, the best visual, but it is pretty bright, or I don't know why it's not, well, what if we do this? I was gonna do a wreath. I guess I could go get a wreath and see how it's gonna look. I know it's a mess right now, but we made this wreath last year. And I'll, uh, I'll link our DIY gothic wreath in the description, but I was going to do this. Is that cuter? I don't know. I can't see. Is it cute? I'll try it. Better, worse, the same. I think that's kind of cute, but you can't see the rays now that are coming off of it. I mean, it's a little high, I think, but it's not. Like, if you see the rest of the ceiling, like, look. If you see the rest of the ceiling, it's right in the center. We are, well, we'll continue to work on it, and then I'm going to do a Halloween house tour this year where I walk through everything, so any changes I made or anything I did um you'll see those or anything i added i'll do that at the very end closer to halloween we'll just do a total walkthrough so you can see everything uh, all put together and then of course i'm still doing my decorating videos i just thought i'd say that i mean your bed all right we're gonna fix this really quickly right, hopefully i can remember what i did this this I think we did ghost. I kind of want to get some creepy cloths. Okay, hear me out, hear me out. All right, I got some new creepy cloths. I kind of want to try something. Means, hold on just a minute. Uh-oh, I accidentally grabbed gray. 
Let's put two black at least. And grab these. I'm wondering if I could do a little canopy looking thing, like a creepy canopy kind of situation. I don't think this is going to be long enough. No, wait, yes it will, because I think it splits again. Oh, there we go. I think I can drape this over like this, and then, how does, does that look cool or no? Or does it need to come out more like this? Or like this? Or like that? Is it cool or no? Cheesy? Should put a nail on the wall, do we care? We're redoing this room anyway. Why not? Does it look cool? That kind of looks cool though, right? Try right, this other side. I think I can just hook it on that. Like that. Halloween canopy, I feel like it needs like a little hook here or something. Is this it? Here? Or does it need to come out more like this? Like that? Oh God. We're just going all in this year, no big deal. Why is it not in focus? What's happening? Yes. I don't know what we're gonna put under it. Is this even? Do we care? No. We're gonna do it anyways. Hopefully it's even, if not, it's stuck. I brought it out a little bit more. Maybe if we can just like attach it here. There we go. We can just attach it to the creepy cloth. Bring it out just slightly. We just made this so extra. I don't even know what to say about this. Why not a whole canopy? It kind of looks like bat wings. Yes! Oh, it makes me kind of want to make them bat wings now. Like, bring them up, you know? I don't know. We may end up doing that. I don't know. We're just going to go with this. You know, sometimes you just get all into the Halloween excitement. You just black out and make a bunch of bat wings on your wall. You know what I mean? I feel like we should, like, bring down the lights a little bit. Is there another light we can turn on to get the whole... All right, so that is it. We are officially done decorating my bedroom for Halloween. We've got the rest of the house to go, but we have officially decorated in here. I had no idea it was gonna turn out like this whole situation. So this is officially my Halloween 2021 bedroom. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey, ghoul hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Also, let me know down in the comments what your bedroom theme is or maybe you don't have a whole bedroom theme, maybe just some pillows or your nightstand or something like that. Let me know any themes you got going on in your bedroom uh, down in the comments if you want. I cannot wait to do the rest of the house. So uh, there will be more Halloween decorating videos to come. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, hope you guys are having an amazing spooky season so far. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.